I purchased this 16 inch late 2023 M3 Pro MacBook Pro with an M3 Pro processor, as I already said, I think, and 18 gigabytes of RAM alongside a terabyte of storage as an upgrade from the base 512 gigabytes of storage. And I got this almost a month ago as I was making this video. However, how has it been for me? Let's find out. My least favorite part of the M3 Pro MacBook Pro is its weight because it feels heavier than my previous 16-inch 2019 MacBook Pro. Whilst the weight of this computer isn't atrocious, it is still noticeable. And the primary reason, at least from what I understand about why its weight is increased is because it brought back some legacy ports that were removed on the 2016 MacBook Pro, or at least 2021 did, being, being the SD card slot and the HDMI port. And those are obsolete standards because you can easily purchase an HDMI to USB-C cable and all cameras that use SD cards alongside our equipment is obsolete anyway. Another feature I really miss about my previous Mac was the touch bar, which replaced the function row keys. The touch bar offers more functionality than the fixed function row keys, most of which of these which I don't even use. So I prefer the touch bar to the function row keys. When I was editing with this computer in iMovie, I actually had to take, it actually took me quite a while to get used to the keyboard shortcuts. because so I was used to using the touch bar for doing things like splitting clips. On the brighter side of this MacBook, I do enjoy its upgraded webcam, which is a major benefit over my previous MacBook. Back when I recorded my podcast, the iTunes family podcast on my previous MacBook, I used continuity camera when available because the 2019 MacBook Pro's included webcam quality is near a potato. However, on this MacBook, I can simply use its built-in webcam, so which you are watching footage from right now. The biggest reason why I upgraded to the late 2023 MacBook Pro is because my previous 2019 overheats and constantly triggers its fans whenever I edit videos on it or in podcasting. Whilst I have felt a slight heat output on this MacBook, it is still not as hot as on my previous Mac, and I've never heard of the fans on this computer trigger. This Mac also delivers far superior battery life to my 2019 MacBook Pro to the point where I can actually use it while forgetting to charge it. And as you can see, when I open up a Pages document here, this MacBook boasts an amazing keyboard, and I'll just show you guys right here. Please subscribe to my channel. This computer also boasts an incredible trackpad because it is so big and works so seamlessly. There we go. And yeah, I actually really do like trackpad on this computer, but do you own an M3 Pro Micro Pro or do you desire one? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes fanboy and peace out.